Hey guys, we're back. Another game. More of the same here. Don't know who it is. Just a random replay of some ladder people going at it. Uh, this is actually not a rated game, so I have no clue what this is for. Could be a friendly or a tournament or what have you. Either way, Beats Black, whoever that is, and the Captain Robin, whoever that is. Here's their game. Beats Black on the bottom with Zap and Topside Venusaur. Here's T-Wave and Sleep Powder, respectively. Both going to connect. Both pokes hit with a status problem. Leech Seed going to miss through the imperfect accuracy and the paralysis. However, it connects on the next attempt, keeping in mind that these are costing 2 PP each time via the pressure ability. He thinks the Zapdos is going to stay in and wake up, which is why he went for Sleep Powder there. It wasn't necessarily a mistake. It was just a prediction gone wrong, and it's going to be an Ice Punch crit from Gengar. Here comes Cloyster. That's going to take an Ice Punch just fine, obviously, with the Mega Resistance and back to a hundo via the Leech Seed. Stays in, eats a Thunderbolt, takes that less than fine, takes 90% from it, in fact. Gets a little bit back with Leftovers and Leech Seed, but man, did that hurt. But he did get a layer of spikes down for what it's worth. And here is Swampert coming in, sapping Leech Seed even more on the Gengar. Zapdos Venusaur reappear. No sand, so lefties are being gained. Sleep Powder again predicting Zapdos to stay in and wake. And it did stay in, but it did not wake up. And here's Dodrio for Beats Black. How about that? Full para coming. And there's the drill pack for the knockout. Dodrio with the kill. Uh, Dodrio also, I was going to say, not only does it often pair with Magneton, but I believe it can learn Baton Pass just as Metacham can, so you can BP to the Magneton and start doing some dirty dirty here. And Beats Black trying to set up on the opposing Magneton. He landed the para. He's now fishing for full para. We know there's HP Fire on the other side, which continuously is popping this sub, but he's going to keep trying it. It is a lefties mag, so we can do this a few times. But so far, three in a row coming from the Captain Robin Magneton. Here's another one. There's four in a row. He's going to be able to make another sub here, but this is going to be the last one. Can he catch a full para? And the answer seems to be no. That's going to be five in a row through the para that he attacks. So here's the attack and the crit, and now the full para kicks in. Now, Beats Black does not have a substitute, but he does get to kill the other Magneton, despite evidently not having his own HP Fire. And there is the double-edge knockout to finish off the Magneton with the Revenge Kill, leaving us in a 5-4 situation with Beats Black being in the lead. Full team now revealed for the Captain Robin. Switches in T-Tar to Ice Punch. T-Tar does have lefties. Do we have a Crunch or a Pursuit coming here? We do. It's Pursuit. Gengar didn't switch, but still does a lot. And Gengar pending a Giga Drain here is going to be dead to the next Pursuit one way or another. It is going to blow up. It's not going to do a lot, but nothing better to do. There is, however, a Dugtrio follow-up. We have a double Trapper team for Beats Black, and there is the Revenge Kill, leaving us in a 3-4 to four situation. Rock Slide. And Dougie going to stay in and allow this to happen, even though it's presumably locked on Earthquake here. Two rock slides later, and it's gone. We've got a 3-3. Heracross coming in, and Cloyster going to be the response. Instantly removed with the Brick Break. Aerodactyl reappears here. Will he go double edge? Will he go rock slide again? He goes for the straightforward hidden power, presumably flying, aimed at the Heracross. I'm surprised it beats Black. Doesn't go to Zapdos here. He's going to let the Dodrio go, and that leaves us in a 2-2 two -to -two situation. Swampert into Zapdos that very well may have hidden power grass. Yep, it wakes up and does it immediately. We find out that it does, and this is going to leave Captain Robin needing the Aerodactyl to bail him out. Rock Slide going to have to be cooperative here. Double Edge not going to be enough without a crit. Here's Rock Slide, Insta KO. Now he's going to need some crits or flinches or what have you to beat the Heracross. Or not. Or it's just going to be an adamant Heracross, or sorry, an adamant Aerodactyl, and insta-kill the Heracross there with the Rock Slide. That works. Where there's an arrow, there's a way. We've seen it so many times, and here we are seeing it again. Aerodactyl simply going to clean up the game. Easy peasy. Down goes Beats Black, the Captain Robin, in another close game. I, I guess I picked good ones today. They've been close. In another close game, it is going to be the Captain Robin taking out Beats Black. And, of course, I have another game for you guys. Like I said, not going to just do one or two and leave you hanging. I got another one coming. Let's check it out. Give me a thumbs up if you liked this game, por favor.